everyone, this is Dan at SP Motorsport. On this week's product spotlight, we're gonna be going over our 2011 to current catch can offerings for the Coyote, Voodoo, and Predator platforms. The whole idea behind our catch cans and what we were shooting for with these was we wanted to eliminate all the extra hoses. So if you look at a lot of the other offerings on the market that our competitors have, you have a physical can and you're running lines to it, you're basically offsetting it in the vehicle somewhere. And it's just, it's, it's very dependent on the vehicle of location and the way the lines are routed, uh, aesthetically just aren't very pleasing. So that's one downfall for us. And that's one thing we wanted to eliminate is we didn't want to have hoses running everywhere. And we also didn't want to have to make a different catch can for say an F-150 versus a Mustang. We wanted to be able to keep something that was more common to the engine that it was on and designed around that engine and not really designed around the engine bay and the vehicle. On these kits, you're using the factory PCV hose or the crankcase vent hose. So there's a, there's a quick connect that goes on the valve cover and underneath that quick connect, you have your kind of a PCV valve and what we do is we pop that hose off and it's a molded nylon line and you're able to actually turn the 90 degree fitting. So we pop it off, we turn it sideways on the Gen 1 and Gen 2 stuff and it snaps right back on. So basically you're disconnecting a hose, you're taking the catch can, putting it right over top of that, the quick connect fitting, and then you're putting one single bolt in it and snapping the hose back on. And that, what that does is, is obviously it cleans up the engine bay and you don't have hoses running everywhere, but it also makes it more based around the engine. We could focus more on the actual airflow within the catch can. We could focus more on packaging and making it work with the engine and not so much making it work around the platform or the vehicle that it's on. So the one here on my, on my right is for the Gen 1 to Gen 2, so 2011, to 2017, this would cover the Coyote engine, the Voodoo engine, and the Predator engine within those year ranges. And it doesn't matter, it could be in an F-150 as well, or a Mustang. Moving down the line here on my left, we have the Gen 3, which would be the 18 and up. This actual physical box here is based around the Gen 3 and the Gen 4 direct injection stuff. So. That would be, say, 2018 to current with the Coyote platform, whether it be the F-150 or the Mustang, it doesn't matter. Changes in this are basically, uh, for Gen 4, would be a couple fitting changes, nothing major, but it's the same essential box. So what I wanna do is open these up and kinda show you what's going on internally in these and kinda show you some of the changes that we made. So in the original version, we have a Sintern bronze filter with a cover that goes over them. So it worked very well. We had no issues with it and it really did exactly what it was supposed to. And the main thing that was, that we found as a problem with this filter setup was not really the functionality of it, but if you wanted to take it apart and clean it, it was a lot timelier. It was, we have a bolt over the lid. You have to take the bolt out. You have to pull the filters out soak them, clean them, whatever, put them back in, and then you're putting uh, a bolt back in to hold it in, but you had to line it up. There's little O-rings in there. It just, from our standpoint, we noticed after a couple years of servicing, it was just, it was tedious. And we wanted to kind of remove that out of the process. So going back to the drawing board, we wanted to simplify in the aspect of maintenancing it better. So. What I'll do is I'll show you the new one and the new version here. Now this is one of the other key things about this product is the servicing of it, as I'm saying, it's very simple and we wanted to keep that throughout the whole thing. So before I even pull this lid off, I'll explain how it goes on the car. You have the stand and you have a single bolt. And that is the whole process and the whole package that actually goes on the car. So if you're able to take out a valve cover bolt out of your valve cover, you can take this thing and pull that hose off. There's an O-ringed 
hole in the bottom of this pre o ring that's ready to go, you're going to take that and slide it right over that quick connect fitting. And you take that, the bolt that you'd taken out of the valve cover is right where this bolt goes back in. So you have one single bolt holding this on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull the lid off of this. Now that you kind of have an understanding of what's going on. Once again, single bolt to take the lid off. So if this is mounted on the car and you don't want to actually remove the whole thing, you don't even have to take the mounting bolt off. You can leave the bottom side of the box actually attached. So once again, if you just want to pull the lid off, it's a single bolt. Take the lid off. And inside we have now a 25 micron screen that's actually multi-layer and breaking down the oil vapor progressively as it passes through. So the screen, the nice thing about it is it actually pops out. There's, there's a tab up in the top. So if you have a flat screwdriver, or in my case, I'm going to use a pocket knife, you can actually just stick it right in that tab and the screen pops right out. So the nice thing is now we don't, comparing it to our version one, now we don't have an assembly going on for the screen or the filter part of the product. So now we have a very simple screen, as I said, multi-layer. It's a coarser micron on one side and a finer micron on the other. And what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna break the oil vapor down in stages. And obviously we have a baffled network prior to it even getting to the screen, we actually have the vapor coming in and passing through a network of baffles, then having to pass through that screen. But the nice thing is it's easy to pop out and clean. So you pull one bolt out, you can take this thing out in a matter of seconds, spray it, soak it, whatever you want to do. It's a stainless screen. Once you're done, you can put it right back in one single bolt, which this is actually all stepped and machines so that this only goes on one way and it locks in. You put one single bolt back in and you're ready to go. So the other thing that, that I wanna to touch on is oil capacity. So the oil capacity of this box is around six ounces. So even the original generation, which is more square versus the, the shape of this one, they both hold the same amount of oil capacity. So you're around six ounces and this system will still breathe fine, even with six ounces. So that being said, we also have different options for drain back. So obviously if this is gonna contain oil, you're either gonna to wanna to hold it in the box, which then at that point, if you're holding it in the box and you wanna drain it, you can pop your hose off one single bolt, pull the whole box off, split it, drain it. You can do it that way. There is an eighth inch plug this is another way. There's an eighth inch plug in the bottom of this. You can take that out, drain it into like a cut water bottle or a small cup. And the other option is on the Gen 1 and Gen 2, if you were to run the GT500 valve cover. So if you're running the aluminum valve cover that comes on the 20 plus GT500, or you have a GT500 or a Raptor R, we give you a kit to convert from the eighth inch NPT to actually use the drain back port in the factory aluminum valve cover. Why I say, you know, the aluminum valve cover, you can put that aluminum valve cover on any Gen 1, Gen 2, Voodoo, Predator, or Coyote up to 2017. So if you were to swap those valve covers, you can utilize this drain back kit. So if you buy this for a GT500 off of us, or Raptor R, you're automatically gonna get the drain back kit because that's something you can utilize. If you buy it for a Coyote based engine or a Voodoo motor, we're not gonna include it in the kit because it helps us keep the cost down. So what you can do is, let's say you buy this for a Coyote and you're running a plastic valve cover when you get it. Put it on, you're done, you can drain it either pulling this plug out and draining it in a cup or taking it off and draining it. Then you buy aluminum valve covers, say for a 2020 GT500 and put those on your Coyote, you can actually buy this kit to drain it back if you wanna drain it back to the valve cover. So it gives you options. 
the factory Ford racing catch can assembly that you can get on the track pack GT 500s does utilize a drain back. So all we're doing is allowing the customer to make the choice of whether they want to drain it back or not. Our competitors kit from Ford does not give you that option. You're either, you're just draining it back. So if you want to catch it and hold it, you can do that with ours, which is a nice feature, nice option. So even if you do have a 500 and you don't want to drain it back, you don't have to, you can just run the plug, drain it as if it's a normal catch can. So those are some of the key things that we wanted to go over with the kits. As I said, these are our version two setups. The screen makes it way easier to maintenance and go through. And the main thing that we wanted to cover with these is obviously the changes and what we have to offer. And then we also want to cover insulation of these. So we're going to do another video on throwing one of these on a car real quick, just to show you guys how simple it is and how little effort it takes to actually put it on and also how clean it looks because we're very happy with how the product actually looks under the hood. If you have one of these engines in another vehicle, so say you do a Coyote swap or you're doing a factory five kit car or something along those lines and you have a Coyote based engine in one of those cars, being that we designed this around, we design these around the engine platform and not the vehicle platform, you can put these on stuff like that. So it gives a lot of flexibility and it gives you a, a very nice clean install. All right guys, so we're gonna finish this video off here. As I said, this is our 2011 to current Coyote Voodoo Predator catch can offerings. This is our version two. If you have any questions on this stuff, whether it's something that you already have or something you wanna put it on, uh, what we have offerings for, what we have in offerings for the kit options, whatever it may be. Hit us up on social media, give us a call, email us, whatever. We'd be happy to help you. We'll catch you on the next one.